What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today, we are talking about one of the most important aspects to all of our guitar playing, and that is vibrato. So let's go. Cool. So like the title says, today we are talking about vibrato, right? It is one of, if not the most important aspect to our guitar playing. It's our identity, our fingerprint, and what really separates yourself from everyone else playing guitar, right? It's something very unique to you because we can all play the same notes, but what separates all of us, obviously besides how we attack the note, how we hit the note, is our vibrato, how we emphasize the note, right? It's like that quote I've been saying these days, uh, same letter, different font, right? Very similar. You're saying the same thing, but just in a different way, with different nuances, right? So today's video, we'll talk about vibrato, some technique and ways you can practice to improve. Cool. So before we dive in, I, by listening and watching, learned vibrato from BB King, Eric Clapton, John Mayer. Surprise, surprise. Nothing life-changing about that. And in years of practicing it, my ultimate goal which still is when I practice, is to have a vibrato that is steady and controlled, right? I think we've all been in that phase where we wanted to have that BB King vibrato, but failed miserably, and it just ended up us shaking the note, very nervousness, which we'll get to later, right? Slow and steady wins the race in developing your vibrato, right? Right, nothing life changing, but just really controlled. Right. What we don't want is a vibrato that is very hesitant or like really, that's not really that attractive. The shaky vibrato almost in to my eyes says you want a vibrato, but you haven't put in the hours to develop your own vibrato, right? And that's really important, regardless of what music you're playing. The ability to have a note and control it right? Crucial. One of my favorite vibratos, obviously John Mayer, wow. But the gravity vibratos are a great test for a slow, controlled, yet very powerful bend vibrato technique, right?
even that last one, right? Step and a half, controlled. And then I brought at the end. Right? A very efficient vibrato. Now, I know on the channel we talk a lot of Grateful Dead and Garcia, right? Though Garcia was a master at guitar, right? It's very obvious that he is a master. His vibrato never really amazed me. It's coincidentally one that we just talked about, one of these shaky ones. Right, which for that style of music works, and that's his identity, right? But for me, when I play that music, something I focus on besides trying to pay him homage and play the best that I can is have my own vibrato, carry my vibrato into that music because that's my fingerprint, right? That, that's me. Right? If we look at a song like Sugary, Vibrato is key in the way how I would take a solo like that, right? So again, vibrato is is king in all this. Vibrato is everything. So, some ways how you can practice vibrato, right, is first obviously just hit a note and then give it a little, a little some some, right? Whether you're with your index finger, with your thumb anchored on the top of the neck, or if you want to focus more on like Clapton, you can take your finger off the neck, your thumb. Right?
all very effective when mastered and practiced strictly. Another thing you can do is play scales using bending and vibrato to get to the note, right? So for example, if we're playing this E major scale, right, if we add bends, Right? If you want to add more vibrato, you can play single notes. Also notice when I'm playing this E, I'm hitting the note with my ring finger and then using my index finger and middle finger to mute. Right? Because the last thing you want is excess noise, right? That's why I always say practice with no reverb, because when practicing with no reverb, as revealing as it is, you hear the notes that shouldn't be there. You hear noise that should not be when you're playing, right? Then when you add reverb on, you realize, oh, I don't need that much reverb anyways because I'm pretty accurate with my picking hand, right? Twenty fourth fret E. <laughs> so yeah. Another aspect of vibrato is the ability not to add vibrato on every single note. There are times when I watch back these videos, which is pretty often because I want to see how I play, how I sound, right? Where I notice that every note I'm playing, I am shaking the guitar. I want to add vibrato, but it ends up just me just moving my hand. So practice... Playing lines, it was like descending, like, right, something like that. And then if you bend, don't add a vibrato, just hit the note, but hit the note precisely, right? Then add a vibrato when you return down. Right? Not adding vibrato takes the same discipline, the same strictness in your practicing because you hit the note and you hit it precisely without any other movement. Right? So with all that being said, that is my TED Talk <laughs> about vibrato. Something very important to have in your technique, right? Practice makes perfect. Slow and steady always wins the race, right? It's better to have a slow, controlled, disciplined vibrato as opposed to a very fast, uncontrolled, which may sound nervous vibrato, right? So that is my vibrato talk. Well, all right, guys, that is today's video about vibrato, a technique that should be in everyone's playbook, but that still requires a good amount of discipline and practice to have a great vibrato. A great vibrato 
can separate you from everyone else in the guitar playing world. So with all that being said, if you enjoyed today's video, please press like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.